Good luck, guys. Thank you. So, uh, thanks for coming all the way to Brooklyn. Yeah, Club. yeah, of course. <laughs> so, are you only on Tinder? Or are you on other dating apps as well? Hinge, Bumble? <laughs> none, none of them. I mean, maybe a few. Actually, all of them. Okay, and are they effective? Uh, I mean, have you gotten second dates? Actually, none. Um, but I'm hoping that this will turn into a second date. I have something to confess. Um, please don't be mad. But I just need to be upfront and honest. I'm not interested in the state, and I'm not interested in dating in general. I know you're a good guy, um, but I am completely focused on my startup. And I, I don't have time for all this dating stuff. Wait, um, I'm confused. Actually, I'm very, very confused. If you didn't want to date, why did you match with me? Are, are we on a hidden camera show? No, no, there's no hidden cameras. But I had an amazing opportunity for you. The name of my startup is called Language of Love, or LOL for short. But I can get you those second dates that you've been wanting. I guarantee it, I've done the research, it's solid. So, wait, what do you mean? Is this, so is this all just a bait and switch? This is ridiculous, did I just waste my time, plan this date? just so I can get a business pitch from you? This is ridiculous. No, I'm done, okay? I'm complaining about you on all the dating apps. No, 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 Don't complain. I've got enough on my hands. I've spent all of my money on this, and I haven't secured one client. But trust me, I've done the research. It's solid. I can get you those second dates. Just trust me. So, you were saying that you really could get me those second dates. I can get you not only one second date, but three second dates. Okay, but how are you going to do that? I'm glad you asked. So, everyone likes to be loved, right? But everyone has different love languages. And there are five love languages. Gifts, acts of service, words of affirmation, physical touch, and quality time. And my research shows that you can find out somebody's love language by observing how they give love to others. For example, my mom loves gifts. So she gives gifts to the people she loves. My dad, on the other hand, he doesn't like gifts. He likes acts of service. So he gives acts of service to the people he loves. For example, mopping the floor, sweeping the floor, cleaning the dishes. Some people may have more than one love language, but unless both partners in the relationship love in each other's language, the relationship is doomed. And in your case, no second dates. I can help you find out your date's love language. And when you love in their language, voila, second date. Well, this hasn't been field tested yet, has it? Uh, well, it will be, if you let me help you. Okay, fine. But let's meet at Battery Park tomorrow morning. This is a crazy plan. I don't think all of it's gonna work.
sit back. I got this. I told you my plan would work. Yeah. Yeah, you did. What's this? If you don't want it, I'll take it back. No, no, I want to see it. I thought you'd be busy with one of your third dates by now. <laughs> yeah, um, there aren't gonna be any third dates. What? What happened? They all wanted a third date, and I said I didn't want one. Are you crazy? We put in all this work, set you up for success, and then you go and do this? Well, how can I go on a third date with them when I'd rather be here on the second date with you? <laughs> so you think this is a second date? Could be. 